Hey, 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 everybody. Wuju here. Uh, sitting at home during the Nationals. I uh, wish I had been going this year, but uh, with the stuff I've been buying and plus taking time off from work, uh, trying to save up my vacation time for next year, so since I'm taking a big trip. Uh, so anyhow, I got some pretty nice stuff in one package I'm going to open live. I'll show you that here in a minute. It's going to be the last thing I do. Uh, I did get one piece of silver in today. I uh, didn't know the year when I bought it because the guy did not list the year, but I'm quite happy I bought this. Um, see, 1986 proofs so of the first year. I do believe, I'm about 95% sure it's the first year. Uh, they came out with the Eagle, so I was able to get the very first year proof, I think. About 95% sure on that, like I said, so nice pick up there. Still waiting on my other 2008. I might be. Uh, filing a uh, claim here pretty soon on that. If I don't get that, I'll probably email them first, but if I don't get any response or get something pretty soon, I'll be filing a claim on that, so get my 55 bucks back on that. Uh, first off, I uh, kind of jumped the gun on this, buying one of these. Had that first uh, pitch home run and everything, and uh, it's kind of cooled off, but still not doing too bad. And I didn't pay over, I paid like $10 more than they were going before he hit the home run. So, kind of jumped at the right time, but the wrong time, same. Um, but 2011 Bowman Chrome Prospect Autos, um, Starling Marte, BGS 9.5 Autograph 10. So, pretty nice card, worth holding on to. I mean, it's his first year in the majors, he's doing fairly well. So, we shall see. That's a uh, centering a 9.5, edges were a perfect 10. Corners got a 9, the service got a 9.5, so pretty good condition. Uh, next, got a nice upgrade for the Hall of Fame PC. Uh, jump on this as soon as I saw it on blowout forums. Uh, so my other one is going to be available now. I'm going to take it out of this uh, magnetic because it's moving around too much for me. But from 2003, Leaf certified, uh, Fabric of the Game, autograph, two color patch, 2 on 95, Richard Dent. So a nice little pick up there, upgrade. Uh, just had a one color jersey. Obviously, if I find a three color, I'll buy that if it's a reasonable price. If not, I'll just stick with my two color for now. So, uh, another very nice upgrade. This from 04 Leaf Limited uh, to Limited Threads uh, Prime Patch Autograph out of 25, three colors, John Riggins. Probably overpaid a little bit on it, but uh, three color patches of him do not show up very often. So, jumped on it. Like I said, it's probably overpaid just a hair, but you'll have that. Uh, this next card, I had one of these for about $75 cheaper than what I paid this time. Uh, I think it's got a little messed up. Not the seller's fault. Um, uh, kind of both of our faults, but uh, I wasn't going to hold it against him. He was willing to try and find another one for me, but another one popped up. Bought it. Uh, I've already traded away my other uh, Lynn Swan. Um, plus, I traded the uh, my Jack Lambert that I had for another Jack Lambert, which you'll see it's a nice upgrade. And I got some cash in return, of course. Uh, but this is from 2003, Sign of the Times, 24 out of 125, on cart autograph of Lynn Swan. So, I already told you who the player was, but you know. A little streak up there in the top of the L. You can probably hardly see it. Otherwise, I mean, absolutely perfect autograph. Still better than the autograph I had on the other one. The card is. I'm half tempted to get graded. I mean, it's that good a condition, so very nice. Now, last but certainly not least, I've been waiting on this card for just a little over eight months, and I'm afraid uh, it is from Panini. I even put a tracking number on it, so you know it has to be something pretty decent if they put a tracking number on it. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people getting replacements for stuff they're not even requesting replacements for and if that's what happened here I'm going to be very upset if not I'm going to be quite happy okay this is the card that I wanted and they sent me something extra so apparently he did not sign which makes me kind of sad yeah it did not sign Girl, but at least they sent me the other one here Dear Valley customer, thank you for your continued support of Panini Camp America. Due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to provide you the 2010 Jackie Slater autograph cards. You have requested through our redemption progress. We truly process. We truly apologize for the delay and unfulfilled cards. 
In exchange for your redemption request, we have included an autograph card of equal or greater value. We appreciate your patience, blah, blah, blah. So, I was supposed to get a Jackie Slater autograph patch, which I did not, but I did get the patch. Stamp, no autograph. 10 of 10. P Daz 101. Um, but still, this will be going in the PC because he does not have any other game used uh, cards that I know of. So, not too bad. Nice, uh, no autograph stamp on there, but two color patch. So, very nice looking card overall. Kind of wish he had signed, but what are you going to do? If I can get his Top Hall of Fame autograph, be happy enough. And at least it's in something of a Hall of Famer. So, I um, already have his autograph, of course. Gold card at that, 2000 Playoff Momentum, Game Day Signatures, which I believe somebody's doing this set. Not sure if they have him or not. Uh, if not, that probably would be willing to part with this. There's going to be an extra Hall of Famer now. Uh, Game Day Signatures, January 25th, 1987, 14 out of 75. Lawrence Taylor. So, not sure what the those are going for, if they're worth much or anything like that. Uh, very clean autograph on there. Got some chipping around the edges, but uh, that's probably common around the black edges. But, uh, not bad. Uh, I'm going to look up the value, of course. But, uh, it's hard to really put a value on one of these since he has no patch autographs anywhere but like I said at least they sent me the no autograph with the patch as where they have not done that with some of the other cards I've repl had replaced so uh, so yeah Lawrence Taylor at least it's a Hall of Famer I don't have to go completely haywire I still got to go nuts about my Eric Berry um, for in place of Bob Greasy but uh, I think I wasn't too bad so it been nice to have been a patch autograph of Lawrence Taylor instead but we'll see I guess that'll look up values. I'm not totally upset, so. That should do it for today, folks. As always, thanks for watching.